Welcome to the Chris Harold Show, where we help coaches, consultants, and experts go from overworked, overwhelmed, and underperforming to enjoying a full sales pipeline and more revenue in order to fulfill your kingdom assignment and create an eternal legacy using our God's Masterpiece Rapid Success System. Welcome your host, Christopher Harold. Hey, hey, what's going on, my friend? Welcome to the Chris Harold Show. I am your host, Christopher Harold. And in today's episode, I'm really excited about today's episode because what I'm going to talk about in this episode here is I, 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 I want to pose a question to you right now. So you're a coach, consultant, a professional service provider, you're an expert, and you're looking to grow your business. I want to pose a question to you, and I want you to answer this for me right now. I want to know, are you a farmer or a hunter? Are you a farmer or a hunter? Hmm. Probably got you thinking, like, like, I don't know. Well, let me ask you a question. In the business world, if I ask you to describe a hunter, how would you describe a hunter in the business world? Think about it. Well, um, I was sharing this other day in our God's Masterpiece client session with uh, some of our, our clients of uh, coaches, consultants, and experts. And I said, tell me, what is a hunter in business? And, and a few gave me some different definitions of that, right? And I was like, okay, interesting. So when you think of the word hunter in business, what comes to mind? Well, some folks may say uh, what comes to mind is a go-getter or a hustler, right? Or a grinder, someone grinding all the time, right? Or, um, but I want you to think of, when you think of hunting and when it comes to business, it could be someone out just hustling, grinding, trying to do what he got to do, to, to, you know, to make ends meet. Doing what you got to do to try to grow your business, right? And I get that. But let me ask you a question. How do you want to be perceived in the eyes of your potential clients? Do you want to be perceived as someone in a position of authority? Or someone who's always hustling, grinding in a position of almost what we call uh, borderline begging, right, for business. Think about this. In the business world, when we say hunter, hunter is someone who goes out and always got to get food. In, in, in the real world, right, when, when folks used to go out and hunt for food, right, why? It's because why? They were trying to meet an immediate need. Follow me now, right? Why? Because they were hungry. And, and the goal was to do a feed yourself for that particular day. Hey, it's Chris, and really quick, I know you're enjoying the video, but hey, if you are thoroughly enjoying this video, would you please do me a quick favor really quick? First and foremost, would you hit the like button? You know, give me a thumbs up if you definitely are enjoying this video. Also, secondly, would you go ahead and subscribe to this channel, and then when you subscribe, make sure you click the bell. It should be a bell as well, so that way you're notified each time when I upload something new. And if you're thoroughly enjoying this, I want to know, Leave me a comment. Tell me, tell me what you're finding most valuable about this as well. And so let me know by, by leaving a comment below as well, my friend. It will encourage me to continue to upload more content like this as well, my friend. So again, thank you for being here. I appreciate you uh, checking out my YouTube channel. Now, let's get back to your video. It, it was like, let me do what I got to do so, I, so we can be fed for this particular day. Then what's going to happen the next day? Guess what? You got to go out and hunt and hunt and hunt once again. Now, you can imagine this can be a grueling way of doing business. Or a grueling way of survival. Mm, check this out. Now, if I were a farmer, if you were a farmer. And your goal was to what, sustain and grow to feed your family. Your mindset would be different because with a farmer mindset, you're thinking long term. Your goal is not just to, to, to feed yourself just for today, but to feed yourself for today, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, and so on. Why? Because you understand, but when I farm and plant seeds, after a little bit of time, I will reap a harvest. And I don't have to go out every single day just to feed myself. 
Let me ask you a question. I don't know about you, but have you have you got people on social media platforms, say like LinkedIn or uh, Facebook or Instagram, always inboxing you the spam messages? Or you go join some groups out there, right? And what's gonna happen? The person you join a the group, they seen this long essay doing what? Pitching you. Now, now why are they doing that? It's because they are hunting for business. And how do you typically respond? Well, I can tell you how I respond. I ignore and reject 99% of those inquiries. It doesn't matter if I join somebody else's group. It's the first thing they do is send me a long essay, right? I ignore it because it, 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 it wreaks desperation because they're hunting for business. Now, let me ask you another question. What if, I asked you earlier, how do you want your ideal or potential client to see you? Now, if you are always messaging, chasing, getting on the phone, begging people to do business with you, trying to convince them to do business with you, how are you going to be perceived in the eyes of your potential audience, in your audience? Well, what if you took the mindset of a farmer? You say, you know what? I'm not going to chase. I'm not going to go after you every single day. But instead, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to begin planting seeds. And then I'm going to water those seeds. I'm going to nurture those seeds. And over a little bit of time, what's going to happen? I'm going to reap a huge harvest. Now, how does that happen in the business world? Well, check this out. In the business world, it happens simply by creating your own farm. Where you begin to nurture and plant seeds with your specific audience. You don't chase them. You don't beg. Ask them to do business with you. You just give value, right? And, and, and the more and more you're giving value, what are you doing? The more and more you're planting seeds, the more and more you're watering seeds, the more and more you're nurturing in the right environment. And then when the right time comes, you know, the Bible talks about seed, time, and harvest. So when the right time comes, you have built up this equity by giving so much value on social media, on your email list, in your own funnels, through advertising, marketing, whatever it may be, right? And then when the time is right for your, 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 your potential clients, they're gonna reach out to you and say, hey, I am ready now to do business with you. Here is my credit card. Opposed to the other way, when you're constantly chasing and asking and begging, are you ready to get in now? You ready to join now? You ready to do business now? You ready, 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 ready? And when they run the other way, by hunting. Now, which one of those sound much more attractive to you and which one do you believe puts you in the best position of authority in front of your audience? Of course, being a farmer, because think about this. When you're hustling and grinding and, 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 and have a hunter mindset for business, who are you concerned on whose timing are you doing business? Hmm, think about that. Whose timing? Yours. Because why? You, you, you want to make a deal right now. You want to sell your widget right now. Maybe you got to pay your bills. Maybe you got to pay your mortgage. Maybe you got to pay your car. Now you say, I got to do this right now. But when you're farming and you're planting those seeds and everyone is getting nurtured and matured, right? And growing fond of you and they know like and trust factors building up more and more and more for you. What's going to happen then when the right time is right for your audience? It could be one week from now. It could be one month from now. It could be three months from now, six months from now, 12 months from now. Who knows? But the time is when you have your system, your online marketing system set up right. When the time is right, who are they going to think of? They're not going to think of the person who's been begging, who's been hunting them. They're going to think of you because why? You've given them so much value. You've given them something that I teach called results in advance. That they will want to do business with you and ask you, hey, I'm ready right now. What do I need to do to get started? So my question, as I pose from the beginning of this amazing episode of the Chris Harrell Show, well, I ask you, are you a farmer or a hunter? I hope, my friend, you will choose to move and graduate from hunting, which we all been there. I've been there, and, and, and a lot of my clients and students have been there before they came into my world, right? Because that's what you told her to do. You told her to go out and hunt for business, cold call business, door knock business. Send out random emails to people. Send out random messages to people. Do a pitch, 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 but you're not building up your form. You're not, you're not building up your equity 
and you're not putting yourself in position of authority in front of your audience where they will want to do business with you compared to everybody else out there who's making all this noise and it's pitch, 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 pitch. Which one of those do you believe you can build a more successful business behind? Of course, the former, right? So, I implore you with this episode here, my friend, if you begin to change the way you do business. Change, the, you know, when you begin to market and you have a full marketing system, it flips the whole game for you. So change the way you've been doing business. Change the way that you've been doing, uh, going out there, trying to find more leads, trying to find more clients and begin to create a form that would attract the right people. It would nurture the right people. And then at the right time, when they're ready, they would definitely reach out to do business with you and pay whatever amount your services are. That puts you in a position of authority. It, it increases your know, like, and trust factor. And you know what? It's a win-win for everybody. So if you found this episode valuable, what I want you to do is let me know wherever you may be watching this, wherever you may be listening to this, let me know what you find valuable. If there are a place you can leave a comment, do that. If you happen to be listening to this on one of our podcast apps, go ahead and subscribe to this podcast, leave a review and share it with others as well. If you have me watching this uh, online somewhere. Uh, definitely. I want you to message me either on Instagram at Christopher underscore Harold or on Facebook. At, at Chris Harrell team and say, hey, I, this episode was fire. It was amazing. This is what I find most valuable. And I want you to go out and implement what I'm sharing. So hope you enjoyed this episode, my friend. I can't wait to, to, to share another powerful nugget inside the new Chris Harrell show. It's going to be really powerful and impactful for you as well, my friend. So remember this, put God first in all that you do, and you too shall succeed. Peace and God bless. Well, would you like for me to give you a plan to double your leads, clients and revenue every month for free. I'm happy to help you design a custom marketing plan for your business, identify your perfect target market of prospective clients, and show you how to have them coming to you asking to enroll in your program. This way, you'll be able to get more leads without prospecting the wrong people, talking to tire kickers, or unrealistic people who want to waste your time. I offer this service because I am a consultant specializing exclusively in helping coaches, consultants, and experts go from overworked, overwhelmed, and underperforming to enjoying a full sales pipeline and more revenue. And there's a good possibility your niche has a large pocket of underserved clients who would be very responsive to the marketing plan I'll be giving you for free. And if you find the plan that I create for you valuable, you might want to become a client. If this is the case, my fee starts at 3K, which is less than your earnings from acquiring one client. However, with that said, please understand that I am not offering you a sales pitch in disguise. I promise not to pressure you or pester you in any way at all. In fact, if you feel I've wasted even one second of your time, let me know and I'll immediately send you $500 to compensate you for your time. But before we can go further, you need to know I can't help everyone. I can only be of benefit to coaches, consultants, and experts whose average value per client is $3,000 or more, who are actively promoting and getting 500 unique visitors to their website each month and have an email list of 250 plus potential clients who are willing to advertise and able to execute and who are enthusiastic and coachable. Here's what I want you to do next. Schedule a quick 15 minute good fit call with my assistant by simply clicking the link below. Once you do, you will see a form with a few questions about your business and what you're looking to accomplish. Once you complete your quick 15 minute good fit call with my assistant, I'll do some market research for you and set up a time to go over it together with you during our planning session. So schedule your call below now I look forward to speaking with you soon.